20 patients from Birmingham Children's Hospital have had their turn strutting the catwalk at an adaptive clothing fashion show in clothes specially designed to meet their needs by students from South and City College Birmingham. People with physical disabilities often find themselves at a disadvantage when shopping for clothes, with mainstream high street stores not catering for their needs and specialist retailers creating unflattering and unstylish garments. Altogether, it makes for a very frustrating and often costly experience for disabled people, and one which Dr. Andrea Jester, consultant plastic surgeon at Birmingham Children's Hospital, has heard about time and time again from her patients and their families. It's what led her to get in touch with the School of Fashion at South and City College Birmingham to see if it could support with a special fashion show, which would not only uplift and empower her patients, but also raise the awareness of the need for more adaptive clothing with the fashion community. Following the success of the Adaptive Fashion Show, it's something Dr. Jester hopes can become an annual event with South and City College Birmingham, especially as funds raised from ticket sales and a charity raffle at the event will be going to support the work of the Hand and Reconstructive Limb Department at Birmingham Children's Hospital. Hello, my name is Andrea Jester. I'm a consultant plastic surgeon from the Birmingham Children's Hospital. And we are here today because we are celebrating a fantastic event. It's Fashion Night, Adaptive Fashion for Young Children and Patients with Disabilities. It's the first of its kind where individually made to measure clothing are made for children with significant life-changing disabilities. It's a very special event because for the first time clothes are being made for children who are otherwise not able to go shopping on the high street children with significant disabilities in wheelchairs who are left without arms or legs and for these children for the first time clothes are made which fit them like a glove and they're in the limelight usually our children with chronic disabilities who are a lot of times in the hospital for many years and many months are not used to being in the limelight, but they, if here for the first time, they're getting their hair made, the makeup, their clothing, and they will be absolutely in the center of attention. My name is Sarah Jane Marsh, and I'm the Chief Executive of Birmingham Women's and Children's Hospital. It's my absolute pleasure to be here this evening to see the amazing fashion that has been created by our friends at the college. The outfits are simply stunning, the children are sparkling, the atmosphere is really overwhelming. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone involved and let's hope that we have many more of these very special events to come. Good evening, my name is Corsa Bashir. I am the faculty head for a Creative Professional Studies here at South End City College, Birmingham. What a wonderful evening we've had this evening where we've celebrated the collaboration of the Fashion School from South End City College with the Birmingham Children's Hospital. It's been an absolutely amazing event for the children involved. They've had the bespoke costumes made. It's been an absolutely fantastic opportunity for our learners and one that we hope that's going to grow from strength to strength. We hope that the collaboration with Birmingham Children's Hospital is going to continue and we're going to have an amazing uh, future years to come. Thank you so much. Hello, my name is Serbje. I am the head of school for art, design and fashion here at Southern City College, Birmingham. Uh, this event has been amazing in terms of raising awareness um, at the gaps within adapted fashion. Um, also the collaboration with the Birmingham Children's Hospital has really allowed us to consider ways in which our students can work to construct garments as well as with a different customer profile. Uh, we are really pleased and really happy about the successes of this event as well as the money raised for the event and, and all the exciting prosperous ideas we have moving forward in terms of nurturing this partnership we have now started to build with Birmingham Children's Hospital. Thank you. Hello, my name's Liz Fairbrother. I'm one of the managers here at South and City College. We're at the Digbeth campus. We've hosted our very first one-of-a-kind fashion show in conjunction with Birmingham Children's Hospital and our fashion department here at South and City College. We are so privileged to be working with these families and they've had an amazing time. They've had uh, bespoke 
clothes made for them, which is very challenging for children and young people who have um, disabilities where clothes don't often fit how they should. The children have thoroughly enjoyed themselves. They are actually the star of our show today. We've really enjoyed ourselves and thank you. Hello, my name's Sakaina Walji. I'm the head of school for beauty therapy and travel and tourism. It's been an absolutely amazing evening. We've been, it's been an honour to be part of it with all of the children from the Children's Hospital. Our hair and beauty students have been involved. It's been the whole family affair with all of the students and it's amazing to be able to be involved. To see the little children and their, their faces light up when they get dressed up, they have their makeup done, their hair done, it's been lovely to see and to see the parents so happy as well. Hi, my name is Andra and I'm the fashion technician for Southern City College. For this project I've been the main production coordinator and I've been working very closely with the kids and the staff to bring those garments to life. The college has already raised in excess of £1,800 in aid of this department. SM Irfan Tahir, World News Birmingham.